Hello, I'm Wei Zhen. Today I will continue showing you how, uh, how to do the building structures, the multiple choice. Okay, first of all, we're talking about uh, what is CRIP. CRIP is actually is a long term settlement and the long term deformation of the concrete. That means you need to remember this word and then you can easily find out the answer. And the second one, if you understand uh, the three simple steps to uh, analyze a typical trust, uh, you will understand how to do it. First of all, you need to remember, most likely if the loading is going downward, the bottom element should be in tension and the top one should be in compression. If you see something element like this, uh, if one member is compression, the other will be go opposite, that means in tension. And then the third one is uh, something, if you apply the force downward, this means in tension. If this is uh, two adjacent build, uh, uh, adjacent members, they will uh, do the same method as going downward. That means if this is tension, all two members will also in tension. Okay, try to follow the first step. You will understand all the bottom should be in tension, and then you will find out uh, the set should be in tension. And you base on the second step, this chord is a uh, compression, and this one should be in tension, and then you will find out X is also in tension. And the third one, if you think about this is a uh, tension, because this is a uh, going downward and this is tension, and then follow the second step, this should be in compression, and then you will find out the answers. And this is talking about the corbel. Corbel is uh, something like the columns extended forward to support the elements and this is a so-called length and actually the length is go further and this is something like the columns uh, reinforcement and then you will choose the reinforcement type B and this is something about the if the building is a original shape in here and just shift less than one to six and then just uh, ask you what is the uh, so-called the force uh, on the footing and that's why before that you need to understand this is a so-called graphic actually what is happening if the loading further shifting exceeding one to six and then most likely the footing will be overturning you can see actually this is the loading in the middle and then the second one is go further and the third one is go further you can see the material is also uh, wanting to go to the negative this means it will overturn it that means if the value exceed one to six and then we say this is a unstable structure that's why you will see you must see uh, the diagram may be like this and then you choose C if you don't know uh, this theory but you can guess what is the uh, answer for example you can imagine if the loading is on the central the loading uh, on the footing should be uniform but it shift to the right. That means the right hand side should be have a larger loading. That's why B should not be a right answer. Okay. That's why take out the B and A. You also be uh, taking out because you see something is uh, uh, going upward and downward. That means something is uh, rotating. This is also not very stable. And that's why you take out A and B. This is a uh, only two choice if you are uh, doing the exam okay C or D this is at least you have 50% uh, chance to answer the correct uh, answer and this is talking about before that you need to understand displacement power is uh, something like the H power replacement power is something like the you take out the soil and replace to concrete with core replacement power that's mean like the large time the ball power that's why the question should be something like this H power doing the uh, driving, it will affect the surrounding building is generate noise and also will have uh, one settlements. And also before that, if you understand, most likely the M bearing in Hong Kong nowadays normally we can say is a uh, last time with the ball power only. That means if you say uh, something like the friction power, like the H power. It just driving to the soil and then it will not say the end bending. That's why A should be chosen. 
and this is the talking about the cobble and actually try to use the common sense first or actually what is the difference between what a b or d actually this is a so-called support be near the so-called edge and b is also near the edge of the cobbles and this is in the middle you can think about most likely if the loading is uh, support to the edge it will easily form the cracking and that's why most likely we will choose the d is much more appropriate and also think about c should be lock correct you can think about all the loading should be go downward that's why the support should be in here rather than to the uh, left hand side and this is about uh, if something changing in uh, symbol f which member will not be affected okay and that's why you need to understand the principle of void void is uh, nothing in here and that's mean uh, there's a low low uh, nothing in here and for example c is only uh, supported by the same wage and that's why it will, will not be affected and you try to think about this is a very simple one i try to make a, a diagram to you for example this is a very simple slab actually remember the arrow is has the way of diversion it go upward and downward and then go to the b3 b3 is a share to the left and to the right that's why you can imagine if this is a b4 actually they have a b3 loading in here b3 loading in here and b3 loading in here that's why this is a uniform the cell is low and then the b4 should need to support v loadings from b3 that's why if something is changing in here uh, b4 is equal to a should be uh, affected and b is also affected because you can imagine the loading going to the right also and b2 will also be affected you can imagine actually the loading will shift in here that's why you can imagine and think about c should be not affected Try to understand the so-called failure mechanism of the excavation work. For example, if you see many uh, MTL projects nowadays, if there's uh, any uh, excavation nearby, most likely the soil will be shifted if there's a low support. And that's why you can think about if you uh, living in this building, it will form the cracking and the wall will also uh, easily form the crack. And how can we prevent it? That's why we need to provide some uh, horizontal support to not allow the soil going to the left hand side that's why we can reduce the settlement this is the so called uh, typical concrete balls if we condition of the uh, basement that's why there's low chance to soil going to the right and then we can backfill the soil that's why if after condition of slab and beam and then we can backfilling and also if the concrete wall does have the full swing and also they will not have an, any chance to walk the water or soil going in if the concrete wall does not go to the full swing you can imagine uh, this is like the left hand side this one they still have a chance to uh, let the soil going in and still have a chance of an accident um, before that if you attend my lesson you understand bending moment is like uh, a cable if you hold the hand in left and right hand and just put your tell your fan to put your fingers in the middle you can imagine this is the form of the uh, cable deformation and actually this is a so-called bending moment that's why if you have a uniform loading in here the cable is something like this they will have a curve in here that's why if you understand this uh, basic principle you will understand what is the appropriate answer for example there's a only three point no what i'm saying before point no uh, formed by the cable should be have a straight line like this one they have a straight line but once there's a uh, any uniform low applied they must be in curvature that's why b must be the correct answer and this one is talking about p tension and post tension you need to remember p tension is something like the stressing before concreting pose is something like after concreting that's why 
if you see some of the transfer pay, for example, this is a fee meter, they will do the so-called tendon. They try to reduce the concrete and try to have a, still have a reinforcement and tendon. That's why if you remember uh, this picture, you will easily answer the question. And the first one, you need to know that what is calling. Calling is uh, something uh, calling from the concrete and take out for the uh, laboratory to test the uh, string. And then sonic test is something like this. And I think this is maybe the ultrasonic test. But anyway, try to think this is a uh, uh, ultrasonic first. Ultrasonic test actually is uh, checking the power, the connection between one element to another uh, elements they will use the butt well to connect together and the third one is the loading test it is suitable for the H power and concrete power that's why if the question is something like not used for testing of H power most likely you take out the calling okay and this one is talking about uh, which one is the appropriate foundation system first of all you need to ask yourself two questions first one is uh, what is the loading if the loading is large try to think about is a uh, large diameter ball power and if the loading is less try to think about is a uh, steel edge power the second criteria is a uh, uh, what is the bedrock level for example 45 should be we say is a uh, long that's why try to use the friction power rather than choose the power rested on the wall okay we try to see this table first. What I'm saying before is, uh, for example, uh, if the loading is very large, try to think about it. You must choose large diameter ball power. Okay. For example, if the loading is not very large, and we try to think about this one, and this is also very cost effective, but the disadvantage of the steel H power is quite noisy. And the middle one is a so called the wall socket H power. It will be due to the bad wall. And it means, for example, this one is a 45 meter, it's too long. That's why choose the steel power instead of the socket H power. That's why to sum up this one, first one, think about the loading. If not very heavy, go to the steel power or walk socket H power. And then we choose the depth of the wall. If the wall is a uh, very long like this one this one go to the wall and that's why it will be between too long and it will be very expensive that's why I try to steal H power and this is a so-called capital in the past it is that uh, something like this is a decorated columns and then nowadays if you see the first left most likely we have a column job that's mean the thickness near the corner should be larger and that's why uh, actually this is uh, used to check the shear force okay and that's why you need to choose a this is the last one if we talking about the slum test slum test this is talking about the readability of the concrete you, you think about the left hand side is the concrete we deliver on size the right hand side is uh, also deliver on size once we take out the cone this is totally collapsed it does it mean it may be the concrete will have uh, too much water inside and then it does not work and this is talking about the ability okay and the last one is talking about the uh, if we're talking about the popping for the candy nifa it nowadays should be changing from 28 days to 14 days okay this is uh, to ensure there's a low deformation okay thank you